Grand Risings, Libras, and happy Wealthy Wednesday. It's your girl, Girl King. Welcome back and welcome in. Libras, I have some information for you. <laughs> some intel, an update, a download. Hello to all of my new subscribers, my faithful, ever-growing few, and for those of you just breezing on through what it do. You know you're in the right place if you are Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, or wherever Libra may be sprinkled in your chart, you are, of course, welcome right here. So we're going to dive right on into these energies, Libras. As per usual, some or all of these messages may or may not resonate with you in this current passage of moments. So if it's not what rings true for you, Libra, then most likely it's not what it do. Go ahead and just leave it right here. So tapping into these energies, Libras, there is a masculine <laughs> that is on his way out the door, leaving a feminine energy. Now, the details concerning this situation. First, I want to say that I was napping <laughs> peacefully, I might add, and I was awakened to coughing. <laughs> I was coughing. <laughs> I was sputtering. It felt like something was lodged in my throat. And there was something lodged in my throat. It was in, I don't mean to be graphic, it's not nasty, but you know, it was very thick saliva. <laughs> it's like it just would not go down. So I'm coughing and I'm trying to clear my throat and I'm laying in there and I'm like, you should get up and go get some water. I'm like, yeah, but I'm really tired. And so I didn't. I went back to sleep. Again, I'm not sure how much time had passed because I actually didn't check my clock um, the first time I was awakened. But some time had passed. <laughs> I was again awakened by the same instance of coughing and sputtering and having some almost unswallowable uh, saliva stuck in my throat so it was at this point that I decided um, you may want to get up and I say that because it relates to what I'm about to relay to you so back to this masculine energy that's on the way out the door moving away from a feminine energy now whoever this masculine energy is this masculine is leaving a feminine and this feminine energy either has children with this masculine or these children, a male and a female, are this feminine energy's children. Here's the story. So the feminine child, the female child, who appears to be the older child of the two, she is well aware of the issues, the problems, even if she doesn't know the basis or the real terms of the issues going on between this masculine energy, who may be her father, and this feminine energy, who is definitely her mother. She kind of caught wind or heard a conversation that went on behind closed doors and this masculine energy was telling this feminine energy basically that this relationship this marriage is over now this masculine could be a Leo Sun sign they could be a Virgo moon something happened on Saturday something went south on Saturday this masculine has been, what's the word I'm looking for? Digesting. Thank you, angels. This masculine has heavily been digesting the situation between you and him. Or you and her. Take it how it vibrates. But something went south on Saturday. This could have been anywhere between 6 a.m., and 12 a.m., something went awry, and it happened during this conversation, and I feel like this masculine put his foot down. So the clearing of the throat, 
this masculine had something stuck in their throat chakra that they've been holding back, that they've been wanting to say to this feminine energy for a long time. Now, something happened on Thursday, and it could have been Thursday before this past Saturday, but Thursday is significant. This masculine energy has been doing some root work. Um, they've been clearing out a lot of the negative elements in their life, and this masculine, because they've been digesting the connection between you and them, they're starting to look at their life. There's been a deep introspection here and they're starting to kind of pick and pull apart their life, their actions, their behaviors, the people around them, the environment that they're in. And so as they've been digesting and processing and clearing out negative things from their life, They've come to the realization that they no longer want to be with this feminine energy. They no longer want to be in this relationship with her. They no longer want to be in this marriage with her. This masculine has been working on working up the nerve to speak their truth, to dissolve this relationship, this marriage that they're in that is no longer bringing them any sort of happiness, any sort of release, any sort of peace. And that's where this masculine is at right now. They're seeking peace. And they know that peace is not going to come by trying to revitalize this relationship or this marriage that they're in with this feminine energy. So they've also been doing a lot of things to... I'm hearing protection spells. This masculine could have been doing protection spells to protect them from the projections of their could be soon to be former wife and or this feminine energy that they're moving away from. This masculine is stepping into their emperor energy. So this masculine could have an Aries rising, but I'm hearing that they're stepping into their emperor energy. So the emperor in them is starting to awaken, is arising. Now, this masculine is feeling very emotional. And there's been a lot tugging at their heartstrings. There's been a lot tugging at their mind. Because this feminine energy that this masculine is with, like I said, this feminine energy is either this masculine's wife or someone they've been in a long-term relationship and i say that because this masculine is heavily attached connected to these children this young female and this young male now for some of you this is this masculine's children for others of you these children belong to the feminine energy that this masculine is with there's a heavy emotional attachment to these children. So if this, if these children are not this masculine's children, they still feel very responsible for them. It's like, if they're not his kids, there's no dad in the picture, there's no father figure in the picture, and this masculine has stepped in and stepped up to being the father figure for these two children. So they're deeply ingrained in these children's lives. Again, they feel very responsible for these children. Now, these children could be anywhere between 12 to 19 years old. So they're kind of Preteens, teenage years. This masculine has been crying real tears. They've been very distraught. They're very emotional. It's almost like they've become an emotional wreck because they know they can't stay. They definitely know they want to leave. But I feel like this masculine has felt trapped in this relationship because there are children involved. And again, for some of you, these are this masculine energy's children. 
they feel like time has gone by so fast and even though these children are in preteen and or teenage years and this masculine has been a part of them growing up he's you know watched them age and so there's a real emotional connection there i just can't stress it enough I mean, this masculine, you ever cry, you ever cry so hard and so long that, you know, you have to get up and go get some tissue or you got to get up and go get like just a roll of toilet paper. Just, you may have to take it off the roll. You may have to just get it out of wherever you keep the extra rolls of toilet paper. This masculine was crying so hard and so long. I'm talking about real alligator tears i'm talking about snot coming all down there that you know their top lip i'm talking about ugly crying because this masculine again and i say he is crying over these children not the dissolution of this marriage or this relationship he's crying over these children because this masculine feels like if he leaves this marriage if he leaves this relationship then he is in essence leaving his children and so that's what's really been keeping him in this relationship in this marriage is the children so the daughter is aware of course of the tension the arguments the volatile energy that's been going on between her mother and this masculine energy she knows or she's felt for a long time that it would get to this point where this masculine would make the decision to walk away so i'm getting that this um female child she could be between 18 and 19 but she's she feels emotional too but at the same time she sees how the masculine like their energy has dwindled like even though he's responsible and he takes care of this feminine energy and her and her little brother she's felt this masculine kind of be weighed down by the situation it's almost as like she's watched him kind of dwindle and so she's kind of been expecting this eruption, this, this breakup. Now, she's been acting like she hasn't known what's been going on behind closed doors, but she's been kind of eavesdropping. And so she eavesdropped on this last conversation between her mother and this masculine energy, where this masculine energy told this feminine energy, that it's that it's over it's kaput it's finished it's there's there's no more there's nothing left to give this masculine has nothing left to give this feminine energy not speaking on the children this masculine energy has nothing left to give this feminine energy he's he's had it way past up to here now this feminine energy this young female child she could have the initials first, middle, or last, B as in boy, or T as in Tom. She could be a Cancer North Node or a Libra Sun, I'm getting. Yeah, but she's been acting like she <laughs> hasn't heard this, this last conversation. She tends to... <laughs> be around closed doors when people think that the kids are off doing whatever and whatever they do no no she's close by she's been listening she's well aware of the transgressions that have gone on between her mother and this masculine figure now this female child has told her brother who could be a scorpio A Pisces moon, Virgo rising towards North Node. He could have a first, middle, or last initial of Z as in Zebra or N as in Nancy.
Aquarius moon, Capricorn moon, and Aries sun. Hmm. Okay, so um, the the male child may be this masculine's children child. <laughs> there's there's a whole lot of energies going on. Yeah, he's fired up. <laughs> um, he's been looking. So the children have been discussing what's been going on between their mother and this masculine energy. Or more so, the female child has been discussing <laughs> with her brother what's been going on, like the turmoil, the arguments. I'm not sure how much she has explained to him, but the two of them have been talking back and forth. So he's decided to look and see um, who this person is, who, who this person, this masculine energy is leaving their mother for. So don't ask me how. <laughs> I don't know. I'm only here to share with you what I'm being shown and what I've been told. This young masculine energy has found a way to find you. So for those of you who have social media, for those of you who may have a platform, this young male child found you. Again, don't don't ask me how, but they found you. Um, this young male is good with electronics. Like they, um, they're good on the computer. Like, you know how some kids, <laughs> you know, I mean, you've got two and three year olds that can, you know, use iPads and just some of these kids be coming out as brainiacs, I swear. But this young masculine, this young male definitely knows his way around the computer. So, again, he found you, Libra, and <laughs> he thinks you're hot. <laughs> Because he's been talking to his sister, because they kind of, well, she knew that this day would come when this masculine energy would leave their mother. Maybe not so much the son, but because they've been talking, he was like, well, who, who is this female? Because, yeah, your name has come up. And, of course, Miss Eve's dropper here, <laughs> we'll call her Eve for now, Miss Eve has heard your name mentioned and like I said I don't know how this young male found you but they found you Libra and he thinks you're hot and guess what happened <laughs> so while he was on the computer looking you up searching you up looking through your pictures through your profile through your social media through your platform whatever you have online Libra he made mention of a characteristic this had to do with your facial features um for some of you <laughs> let me just say some of y'all got some back shots on your profiles on your social media the word bootylicious is coming up okay this young masculine thinks you're bootylicious and i'm hearing that <laughs> uh he's an ass man and so is his father or this masculine they're both ass men listen i'm just Oh, goodness. So he said something about your ass and his mother just happened to be coming around the corner and basically braided him because he said something positive about the way that you looked. And of course, this angered his mother because she knows who you are as well, because of course, well, this masculine has mentioned you many times. Let me just say many times. This feminine energy is super pissed off. She could be a Taurus son. She may have 
an Aries North Node, a Scorpio Moon. She's very nervous. She's nervous because, first off, <laughs> her possibly soon-to-be ex-husband or this masculine energy, well, he likes you. <laughs> so he's leaving because he likes you. And now you've got the son who is making positive comments about your beauty. So he likes you. So it's like she's lost two males out of her life. Now, I'm not going to go so far as to say that she's lost her son over you. But she definitely um, picked some choice words to deliver to him because she overheard him making a positive comment about the way that you look. Now, this feminine energy, she could, for some of you, she could be a doctor. Um, she could be older than this masculine energy. Something happened on Tuesday. Tuesday could be significant. This um, occurrence of her catching her son on the computer, looking at your profile or looking at your pictures or looking you up could have occurred on Tuesday. You've been on this feminine energy's mind since Tuesday, like heavily. Fig Newtons could also be significant. This feminine energy, first, middle, or last initial could be D is in David, R is in Ralph, F is in Frank, I is in Info, G is in Game, C is in Charles. Something happened um, this past full moon. So it's like a lot of things were illuminated under this past full moon. Yeah, this this masculine is, is so sick and tired of having his feelings hurt. He's so sick and tired of not being heard. He's so sick and tired of not being respected, of not being welcomed. So it's like this masculine feels like he's stayed past his welcome. He, he doesn't feel welcome in this relationship anymore. He doesn't feel respected. He doesn't feel like he even deserves this relationship because this feminine energy, this wife, or this feminine energy he's in this relationship with doesn't treat him the way he deserves to be treated. And he's turning his full back. Do you hear me? His full back. And this masculine may have played football. He may have been a, a full back. Um, he's turned his full back on this situation. This is definitely Eight of Cups energy. So Libras, this masculine is on his way because he's tired of taking an L. He's not willing to take any more L's from this feminine energy. He's spoken his truth. He's released the blockage in his throat chakra that has kept him quiet, that has kept him at a standstill that has kept him feeling trapped within this relationship within this marriage he really had to work on himself his own identity he had to do a lot of root work and now he's even protecting himself from the projections of this feminine energy because she's been projecting staying still in his mind and that's absolutely what this masculine does not want to do he no longer wants to sit still or stay still he does no he does not any longer want to remain silent and again he's spoken his truth so he is leaving the situation he had a really good cathartic cry and i feel like this masculine has either never cried like this before or they haven't cried like this in a very long time. But it was all of that emotional release. And I felt like that's why I woke up coughing because I was getting that blockage out. So this conversation could have happened last night. 
this conversation could be happening tonight. Because I said earlier Thursday was significant. Libras, that's what I have for you. As always, please do continue to utilize your own intuition and discernment to make the very best decisions for your highest good. Know that I love you and I thank you and I appreciate you for your presence, for your energy, for your vibes, for your likes, for your shares, for your subscribes, for your comments, for your contributions, whether you are Libras or not. Come on back, spend some more time with your girl. United we stand, together we rise. Holla, peace.